step up as we are going to this gold mix division. We are on this invasion. Hardpoint is getting ready to start. We are looking at this the, the POV of Ace as he's making his way towards this T1. Look at anybody trying to go to this tank shot. He's putting shots down. Chat shot to get the first one. Chat tickle gets the first three kills. Two on the on the opposing players, one on his teammate, and P1 full control for the New York sub -bar. Yeah, and they're just gonna try to try to figure out all these players, make sure they have all their backs pointed towards the back and that they are able to look forward and uh, not have to look behind them, and they did that. So, it's gonna mix EP1, which is exactly how it's gonna go, but it looks like Manitoba's been able to keep New York out so far and hold this spawn to new. But as I say that, we see that number three did not spawn in, so I wonder if they're gonna start to raise a little bit of a flag as you see number two and some of these players looking the other way. As some of the trades are going through, it'll be that number seven player in Shiesty that's got to do a bit of the work now. This will be a big fight in the backside. A is going to find that one. So as we look towards the rotation now, it is Manitoba. They've got everyone in front of them. This is where they'll want to make their comeback into this game. Yeah, they got code up the P2. Two kills just go in their favor. Now they're looking for player eight and player seven who's trying to come around this backside. Tash Tickle finds one with the nade. Now it's all up to Minx. They're trying to hold down that back line. Indigo has made his way through the middle tank and he has broken his way onto the hill as the kill feed lights up. Two kills oh. for the Mantua Mouse, but two go back for the New York Subpar. Chaz Tickle and Serpent are the last two to light up the kill feed. Hill is a neutral hill feed, but there goes New York Subpar stepping on this hill to try to extend their lead. And it looks like they're going to get early rotation from his Mantua Mallards. And I like this out of the Mallards, right? They had a really good setup into the start of this hill. They wanted to even it out, but uh, they didn't really get uh, stuck on it, right? Because that, that hill really just isn't that nice to hold. It ends up being a bit of a uh, trade fest, and it's hard to stay on it. So good on Manitoba to get out and try to get this ahead of this one. But let's see how it goes. A lot of trades have been going down on the way to New. The last maybe to come between Ayaz and the man on the point. This will be a big fight. He finds it on to Indigo. Going to try to go back to his spot quick. Oh. little pump down like that on Ayaz. That's a nice play. That'll secure them at least the first 10 seconds of this hill and probably more. Yeah, man. There they go. Jay with a nice cleanup kill in the diner in that cafe area. And there goes two kills by Manitoba New York so far. Big battle on the hill, but it gets won by the Manitoba Mallers as they're fighting tooth and nail. There is one player behind Ace. He's got to turn around, find him, but he oh. does not find him. Chash tickle. There goes the kill fees lighting up for New York so far. Last 24 seconds probably is going to be all theirs. As you can see, Manitoba Mallards trying to get ready for this next kill. But if you are Manitoba Mallards, you want to keep pushing through the map and trying to flip these spines back over so you can get that other side of the map. It looks like that is what they're trying to do is pair three is making his way through B Street. And if you're the Mallards, I mean, you've done a good job rotating and everything in this game. You've been broken a few times, so easy to get discouraged, but not looking to do that here as they are fighting these gunfights out like you said eventually trying to flip so they eventually have that blue side spawn for the next hill but in the meantime they're able to collect some time here they're gonna have to fight off these members in this a bomb area as quickly trades are going back and forth and nobody really does get a lot of time on this hill typically but you don't want to get stuck in the palace when it comes to rotating today Ooh, Shiesty, he's in the back on his nice little flank, on his nice little side pinch, but he finally gets fake, uh, found it out after he does find a big two-piece. Player four, he is trying to make his way through this B Street. Time is lit it up yellow for the New York sub bar as they're gaining hard point time. They know these players are spining up in the back, and Benny is just pointed back there waiting for any of these Minotaur Mallards to show face. The last 10 seconds should be in the favor of New York sub bar as Manitoba, as Manitoba Mallards are making a sprint down B Street to try to get to New. Yep, sub have done a great job breaking almost every hill to exist so far, and this time they've done a bit better job of rotating over as these kills are coming through. Indigo finds the first day off the top rope, will get one, but instantly traded out. These spawns are now coming into the back, I guess, for Manitoba. They're able to get back there, so close spawns are in. It's New York that is in the, there so far right now. Indigo is surely going to flip this almost immediately, and how many will he get here as he's going to find one? There's two. He's all going to have some shots for the team, and that will be all four dead in the feet, I believe, now for the sub bar. So this will be Ma Mallards having to find their way out once again. I mean, this game is just getting away from you. You've had some good rotations, but just the slang has not been there when they need it. It is a 150 to 40 lead currently for the sub bar. Yeah, man, so far doing a great job of rotating up, getting the kills that they need to get and making sure that they win 
the trade battle. Every time there's a kill for you, lights up. It's always a pin strike kill feed or a win by the New York subpar. Look at that. Three kills go by. Two of them are New York subpar. P1 in their favor. I mean, P1 getting ready to jump off. Now it's in, oh, and now it's in the neutral hill, hill time. They're just fighting off these Manator Mouths. Try not to let them get close. Manator Mouths are, they do have the P2 spawn, so they can just try to keep these players pinned in the back. This could be the start of a comeback for the Manator Mouths. Yeah, they've had some good slaying at the start of this hill. Again, this is a tough hill to really get a lot of time on, so slaying's been mostly oh. useless so far, but the trade's going through. This rotation kill, that's another big one out of Minx. He's found a couple big ones on the back side of the hill, which will give them a good position for the next hill at the very least, and they are counting some time. So this has looked good now for Manitoba, but as we say that, there comes a couple kills for the subpar. It's going to be on the Mallards to hold this setup for new as it is starting to become the very end of the game where they must hold. Yeah, they got to absolutely hold. And Shicey already starts off by taking A's out the back, but Minx... Even that up with a kill onto Serpent. Edwin knows these players are gonna try to put their way to the back. Chaz Tickle with some nice beams onto Edwin. Now it's up to Minx and player 3J to try to hold down this hill. New York supports have flipped the spawns. They do got back spawns, so they're gonna try to push all the forces through the back as Mantor Mouse are trying to get some hill or hard point time. But they gotta try to kill out these New York subparts who are all spawning in the back. Yeah, I mean, and this spawn could be good in the long run, but mind you, this flank spawn in for number two. Edwinkle's going to need to find at least one. He's not going to. He'll get turned on. Shiesty's in, but there comes a nice trade. That's This feed is flipping back and forth. This will be big shots at a mink. He'll find that one. So, good hill overall for the Mallards, and they're going to be on this rotation. So, could be the start to a good comeback, but 13 seconds, nothing to scoff at. That is going to bring the subpar to around the 200 mark. So, it'll have to be almost flawless caught from the Mallards going forward. Yeah, you can see the New York set part Saturday. They're just, they're just content right now. We're just going ahead and letting Manitoba set up, and they're just getting the rest of the scrap time. But that time, two big kills come in their favor. They got control of the hill. They got control of the spawns. Now it's going to be a tough task for Manitoba Miles to try to break in. If they do not break in, this is going to be game over for the New York subpar. There goes Edwin. He starts off with one. Can he find a second? He finds a second. Now he's in the hill. He got to find a third, but he cannot find Shiesty. But Minx is there for the trade. There is the break for Manitoba Mallards. And they probably live to see another hill. Yeah, we've been looking for this for them for most part of the game. They find a break. Minx is in right now. This is exactly the guy you want in here. Is he going to turn in the right time, though? No. He's going to find some timing. How good the timing will be if his teammates will have his back. Nice shots out of them. So that'll get them another 13, 15 seconds there by the end of that. And this next hill could be the final spot. I mean, it's going to be a tough hill to get time on. But New York's been able to find some time on most hills. So I, I feel like they could do it here, Goon. Yeah, man, they always just been able to get that last little 10 to 11 seconds, yeah. you know, in, in every hill. And that's all they need to win this game. You know, that's all they need to get the scrap time. They knew all they got to do is rotate. They had the big lead. So, you know, if you can't get the spawns, you don't force it. You don't keep banging your head on the hill. You just sit back and you just, you just you know, rotate. Rotate next hill. They're trying to get a little bit of this hill. But like we all mentioned, this hill is hard to get. You got one player on the hill, but there goes Edwin to take him out. Edwin now is on this hill. By the time to get his team over that 100-point mark, but he gets taken down, so the 100-point mark does not come yet, but it does come now. Minx does find one. Can he find this second kill? No, he cannot, as he gets traded out by Indigo. Seven seconds is all New York needs to win this game, and they look like they, they can still win it here, but it looks like they're going to win it on the road. Uh, uh, the only thing that's going to think the spawns have flipped for Manitoba Miles, so from here on out, Q, Manitoba Miles is going to have to play perfect hard point. Like we said, gonna get a couple extra seconds at the end are the sub bar. So yeah, if it wasn't before, it has to be now. So here does come the hold. They have all four arrows pointing forward. This could be in a good spot for it. They just have to find all these kills and I mean do that consistently for the rest of the game, obviously, as well. So um we see the guns forward. They're doing a good job, but then number five has spawned in the back, so the pinch is on. Could this be the end now? Could the subpar be doing it right now? They find the first kill. He's in the hill. These seconds are it. They got to kill him right away. Are they able to get in? They do. They trade him out as well. Trade's going back and forth. This one second will be enough. And that will be it. 250 to 138. The subpar will be turning that first win. 
And the first map of our potential five will go the way of the subpar. Yeah, man, that was a great game right there by the subpar. They started off, you know what I mean? They just, well, they just, ladies and gentlemen, in this high rise search and destroy, New York subpar, Manitoba Mallards are squaring off in this high rise. You know, New York subpar are up 1 0 in this series. Top Life Goon with Giddy Q. Q, are you ready for the search? I am ready. Indigo is more ready than I am, though, as he's already found the first blood on the map. He's just going to play this corner now. Get good information and damage onto that grenade. So, finding Shiesty on this side. I mean, they're going to try and keep this lock up, but Indigo goes down. Another trade comes through on the map. It's a 2v3 now. 1v3. It will be down to Shiesty. He's got to pull this one off, and there's some shots already. It's going to be tough. Oh, big battle. Oh, oh. the nade. The nade. He might have stuck him or it might hit the floor. We'll see when it's still can't come. But man, what a great nade just to throw it. Oh yeah, it's on the floor. Explosion damage. That's that oh. that that right there is an impressive uh, uh nade damage right there. You know, the range of that nade right yeah, there. Tough. That 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 was that that was impressive that it didn't even put a dent on the wall or nothing, but it took him <laughs> out of the map. So that is how Manitoba Mallards take this first round with the play behind A's. Now Manitoba are going to be on this offensive round. Well, they're going to make this hard play to A or maybe they may be taking through blue. Yeah, blue is the play. Smoke is out. Let's see what they do here. Yeah, a lot of members out towards this bomb. I don't know if Serpent quite understands how many people have made their way through. Doesn't really matter. He's going to find the first one. Here comes the second child. Not very lucky there for him. Not sure what occurred there, but Minx is in the back. As we have some kills now, Manitoba is trying to hold this site they took so aggressively. It's a 3v3. Shiesty finds that one back now to make it a 3v2. Indigo will get one more. So Minx on his own now having to pull out the 1v3. Yeah, man, it's crazy how like, it looked like the spawns have flipped. Like, you know, how, like a game of uh, hard point has spawns flipped. But now Minx is running through. They're, they're bottom dark, trying to see if he can try to find any one of these players slipping or, or creeping out while they are. are they, they the, All the New York subpar players are spaced out. So if he can find some great timing on the one, that would be great. Then he can move on. But time is not working against him. He's just running around with the players. So he's going to take the child on top helipad, and he gets taken down. New York subpar, tied to search and destroy one to one. Yeah, good round out of them. They're able to hold off that aggressive Manitoba Mallard push. It was, uh, you know, they, they pushed all the way through right through that A side really quickly out with the smoke, and it was a really good move. It could have turned out even better for them, I would think, um, due to some unfortunate timing with the crack shack. So they will unfortunately find the kill is 1-1 one to one now is the score. So far bouncing back in that one. Shiesty on a two spree. Uh, you can see if Minx will get on board. I know he's better than this, so... Going to look to get one now on this round as they are out. It is now looking like a beat push out of the New York subpar. They've made their way this left side, holding out that outer propane edge. A couple shots going down. The fight is going to start. Chastico getting shots down as the flanks in for Indigo, though. He'll find that first one and stay alive. So 4v3, but he'll come right back out. As will find that trade. So now it's that 3v3. But basically, everybody's made their way out of the spawn now, and a lot of trades have gone down. Yes, yeah, bomb is his favorite is where it would be A's with an angle. And then Omni gets a Omni sent gets a, a Omni Science. I'm, I'm just gonna Omni with a nice <laughs> kill and leaves Serpent in the 1v3 by himself. Spots is known. Manitoba Mallard takes him down. Go up in this series two to one. Yeah, I mean holding down this B Street was a big battle. Are they Trading lots of shots, not a whole lot of damage at the start on this side of the street, but they were shooting each other nonetheless, and they have held that side of the street to themselves. Now, if you are the Mallards, they found the success on that side. Let's see if they do it again. It was Omni who found a lot of kills that round. Minx, again, yet to be on the board, but I know he's waiting to get there, itching to get on this board. 2-1 to one is the score, as it looks like we might see another go over to this. Deep. No, it'll be Manitoba liking that A-push last time, and I did too. I'm interested to see if they'll get the same success or even more this time. 
It is time to do this bottom blue, trying to watch bottom blue, trying to make their way towards this A site. But no, they look like they're just going to back it down, try to see if they can find a pick. Ace does find that kill on to Shicey. Now they got the mana vantage. Bomb is down in that low side area. Hunk is going for that side flank. Maybe it can get around to that side player four. Maybe getting himself caught out on this flank if player six can get up here in time and he does get up in time to take down Chaz Tickle Serpent he's watching over the bomb site see if this bomb would go down it's a 4 to 2 advantage bomb oh it was going down to A but it got stopped by Serpent that was a good kill by Serpent no, he third. now it's a 1v2 for Serpent last one alive can he win this one on one no he cannot Matt Tober take the lead 3 to 1 and I told you, I told you Migs would get on the board and he had a big kill there to stop any more uh, kills going the way of the subpar. He found that after uh, we seen Serpent there just trying to check the bomb after one more time. Let a couple bullets go and Migs was just able to read him on the ladder. So a nice play out of him there to give Atobo a bit more wiggle room in this one now. Up 3-1 in this high rise search and destroy. We'll go back to a subpar offense. Last time they tried this B Street out. B Street out. I wonder if they will do the same again. Serpent taking his time. Everybody just sliding out. Looks like they're going to go a bit more towards the middle of the map as some shots go through. Deep player. These are tough shots to hit, but Chastico getting a few of them. He's had a good gun this series. Yeah, he's getting it out. Chastico, he's trying to clean it up, right. but he could not get the clip with Indigo. Does start off with the first blood on two minks. The New York is the same as the man advantage, but Omni's does tie that up with the trade on to indigo bomb is making his way towards this oh towards the a side but chas tickle just takes Tommy down they trying to be here for the trade oh. but there's too many new york subpars watching at that angle ace last man up can he stop this play can he play spoiler he's getting himself into a corner bomb like it's going down on this a site ace <laughs> is not in a position to see it bomb is down can ace clutch this up uh, it's going to be tough. Usually you need to get one there, but he doesn't. And now they're all on him, and they will just push him out and take it. Nice play out of the subpar. I mean, A's unfortunately not going to get that. Uh, if they would have planted right on that left side of the bomb, A's would have gotten a free one and might have been able to make that interesting. But due to not being able to find the plant, had to peak late, and it's just a tough situation in the 1v3. But a uh, good round out of the subpar to really play as a team there. There's a lot of times where two guys are shooting at one, and that's what you're trying to do in Search and Destroy. Yeah, now you get that man advantage. You play the man advantage all the way to the end. You stop Omni on his streaks. He's on here. You know, he was on a five. He was getting ready to get that almighty cruise, but they stopped that. That's a big, big round for New York. Now they're on this defensive side. See if they can tie this up 3 3. Or will Minotaur take this lead 4 to 2? As look like they're making their way towards this B side. Yeah, looks like they're trying to make their way out. I mean, the subpar made a lot of movement over to the street. And he's going to walk right by him. And oh. the snap onto the second. Indigo knows he has him weak. He wants to chow it. But he's going to have a team shooting with him as well. Subpar really coming into form in the middle of this map right now. They've been shooting together as a team. One more to go. Shiesty making the play. A really nice set of plays out of the subpar there. Both being aggressive and on the same page as their teammates. Which, again, bodes well in search and destroy. Yeah, that was a big round right there if you are a New York Subpar fan to get the team tied up 3-3. Tie this up going into a round seven in the search and destroy at a 3-3 advantage. You kind of figure like you may think that New York Subpar may start to get a little, a little momentum is starting to roll on their side. It looks like Shicey may be on a five streak. I'm not sure the scoreboard's not really adding up. So we we'll have to click on this POB to see if that is correct. But Chas Tickle is going to be the bomb carry up, and that is correct. Shicey is on a five streak. So this next kill is going to be this guy bomb if he can get it. Thank you. Yeah, but only needs one more. Jay's going to find first blood, though, causing them all to take a little bit of a turn. You see, working with the numbers advantage is the subpar team. So. Now they don't have it, they're going to have to play this a little different, and Omni's going to find another one. Just quickly turning into Shiesty, maybe just need to prioritize finding one with the streak, but he's going to have to do it with oh. the Renetti, and he's not going to be able to. So perfect round out of the Mallards there, and that is exactly when they needed to find it, to shut down some of those streaks and that overall that momentum that the subpar has built up. 
Yeah, man. I mean, big kill right there to Jay. Big kill. Big run out of the Matto Mallers. So not alone. I mean, to just stay up, stay, keep the lead. Keep the lead in their favor. Be up four to three in the start of Detroit. And most importantly, stop Shiesty on those streaks. Those streaks in um on a map like high rise can be very useful because both bomb sites are outside. So that can that, that that could be a game changer. But to stop that is a big play. Now we got these Matto Mallers on this offensive side. Like they're gonna do a quick with this play towards towards you know, get the bomb towards bottom blue, maybe make his word over towards B site. Mansour Myers doing a three one split A's first blood on ending. Yeah, these first bloods have worked out for the Mallards for the most part. They have found two of these kills now on this round, and this is just gonna be awkward. Should I still get it, but he'll be the only one remaining when he gets that kill. So the Mallards have been really able to capitalize on these first bloods as they've now gone up five to three goat. I mean, this is looking Looking really good from both teams, honestly, at different points, but the Mallards have just, like, push comes to shove. They're finding that next gear. Yeah, man, I mean, Ami mean, just turned his game up, man. It's, it's search and destroy. It's his and mode. Big one. He is ready. He is 10 and 3, you know, being the big dog for his team, making sure his team does not go down 0 and 2. They got that 5 3, Van, so you know that's not where you really want to be if you are a mentor matter. So you want to try to end it here. Want to keep the momentum in your favor. End it on this deepest around. As you can see, New York so far are doing that play. Making the bomb towards A. As Tickle, he is all the way here. Putting the shots down. The smoke is down. Let's see if he can get his bomb down. No, he's going to push up to the shed area. Yeah, this is a tough read, but that smoke didn't really help him out. The teammate's oh. going to even the numbers here. Three to three. Bit of an interesting situation there. Jay is in the back. He needs one for a cruise, and it is a 3v1 against him now. So, oh, you'd think he's going to have to get the bomb guy for free here. I mean, he's took a road that might be a little troublesome, but here it is. He'll get the cruise at least. Will he get out with his life? He will not. So, Subpar able to find that answer there when they needed it, maybe due to the team nade. But a cruise is in the Mallard back pocket, so... Four to five is the score. Things are getting dicey here. Yeah, I mean, man, you see Shiesty, he's stepping his kill game up too now. He's at a 10 and five. He has been that dog. You see Omni on that side, 10. We are on round 10 right here. Mantor Mallers on this opposite side. You would want to think that, you know, if you are, you know, then they got the, they got the streak. Jay has the streak in his back pocket. So you want to think that if he, if you get the bomb down, you want to just play your life. And, 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 and you just try to hit it here. His mate does make contact onto a player. As he's on top, Halley Shaz took oh. putting shots down, backing up. Meeks, Meeks does play his life, backs up. Just bomb looks like it is probably, be, I think, it, yeah, it's behind that B building. But here is he oh. so far, making a hard flag. But Ace, he reads it and he gets the first kill on the Shiesty. In the go spot has oh. been no. He runs right into the gutty of A's. Oh. Meeks takes down Shaz Tickle. Now it's just Serpent, last man alive to try to keep hope. Uh, hope in the favor for the match for the for the New York so far. His position is no cruise missile on to a teammate. That is probably what oh. he could have needed. <laughs> but Meeks takes him down, and there goes Matt and Mallers win and start to destroy. <laughs> wow, fighting some demons there, maybe Serpent. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I mean, I'll give the Mallers a lot of credit though. That was a perfect, uh, perfectly played offense out of them for. This late in the game. Both these teams past uh, being able to get conquer that amount of momentum. Yeah, man, and here we are into this high uh, this high rise control. New York so far will be off. Matt Miles will start off on the defensive side. And Serpent is gonna get that first blood onto A. Tommy's on the side trying to get the second kill. He does get the second kill, but chastise. Chas Tickle finds him, takes him down. Jay now fighting this B Street with his life. He has, a, he has a little bit of HP, so he has to play his life. But look at the kill feet. Lights some all green for the Mantor Mallards as they send the your support back to their spots. Yeah, and this is the part you need to break out on, right? You can't get stuck in here, and two kills come out for the sub part, so they will find some room, but wondering if they'll be able to get out once again. It is the Mallards trying to keep them here. This rival not to do the gun of choice up here, but maybe it'll be good for him right now as he's flying out on him. Needed one more bullet, not able to find it, though. It's a big kill from Chaska, but two more the back the other way for the Mallards. Trading coming through. Omni get, keeping up that pace from the search. Up to four kills already early into this one. But as I say it early, there is only 32 seconds on the board. But they have managed to touch A. The beatdown not going to be able to come through. So Minx and them are going to clear if they find this last kill mid. 
Oh, net 13 kill, unfortunately, coming through. But 20 seconds left on the clock. They've got to go now, the sub far. Yeah, they got to go. They only got 18 seconds now. In the go, does find one. But Jay and Omni finds two, and that could be it. Player one was the last one up. That's in the go. There's only 12 seconds left. They got to go. 13 to 20 are the lives. So this is it. But the time is not in their favor, and the kills are just lighting up all green for the Manitoba Mallard. Uh -oh. Shiesty, last man up, trying to make a sprint to that B site. He does not get it. Time runs out on the Manitoba Mallards, and they do not manage to get any ticks, Jew. Oh, that's kind of what I was saying, right? Like, it's uh, you come in from that search and destroy hot if you're the Mallards, right? Feeling good, just won the map. And then you get that defense right away, right? And it's just all about finding those first set of kills to, you know, you can break one member's mental and maybe all four by just putting them in this high rise spawn trap. And, it, you know, New York really didn't ever seem completely in it either, but they, uh, they just they just weren't unable to find you know get it behind a couple members and make them you know sweat a little bit behind the scenes so no ticks come through but the same could be done here in manitoba at least wanting to stomp onto this a point gonna find their first kill slide out onto the second now is gonna be the attempt that'll be two kills in the feed trasco has got to go big he's gonna get traded out that's three kills now this shiesty flank now feeling a little late but maybe it'll still work that comes to one kill they went over to the b point after which i guess Maybe it's keeping them alive, if you want to call it for right now, because that flank might have worked out with the time and they all left. But right now, either way, they've already gotten some ticks on the board. Man, they had a word to Jim's four man stack on that A site. Almost got it, almost got it out the way, but they just said, I guess we'll come back to that A site. We <laughs> yeah. got two ticks. And now, but they're lighting up the kill feed. They're getting the kills that they need. They're trying to make up for, I mean, they're trying to, they're, they're doing a great job. They just, played a again. Great, oh. they just played a great defense. Now they're trying to play a great offense. Indigo on these players. They got to watch that player out of battle. I mean, that player right there, he is a rank play guy who will just make, just get on your nerves. That guy always turn out of it. But there's a kill feed. Three, three kills. Four of the mass her miles. They cleared out that A site. I was not paying attention. Now they got two players on that B site. That that second segment is cleared. Now trying to get this third segment between two to fifteen. Subpar got to go. Indigo going to come up here. What kind of timing is he going to get? It's the blue flag all over again. But he's looking at his teammate as the two kills come in, and that will be enough. The Mallards making quick work of that round. This is a 2-0 lead now for them going into the defense. I mean, New York got to hit the regain. Yeah, they do, man. 2-0. Going into this next round, you, like just like I just mentioned before this started. I mean, I've been watching a lot of CDL, you know, and I've been and I've been hearing it a lot that if a team steals the offense, it's kind of it's kind of GG, you know. What I mean, that's kind of my my thing. I kind of say it. And now New York New York is on this offensive side. Now they have to steal an offense here. Or we can see Manitoba Mallards take this 3-0, go up 2-1 in the series. So this is a must-win round if you are New York South. Yeah, you gotta find this. I mean, you gotta at least kind of gain a bit more momentum going into the uh, the rest of the series, right? It's just the result of the last map, and now this one, it's just you don't want to fall behind like that. But they've done a good job so far. Of course, that tank will always even the uh, scales a little bit, but Serpent able to get one tick. He's gonna have his gunshots, not able to get that one, unfortunately. As two more kills come in for Manitoba, but two back now for the subpar. They've made their way out. Jay's gonna find another annoying kill that will just make the subpar turn around enough that it's just gonna stop them from really gaining any pressure right now. Shice gonna try and make some pressure, but unable to do so, Minx is gonna be there, so been a tough battle right now for the subpar they have a little bit of area but every time they get more it's just like they get shot right in the back yeah i mean it's like they can't get control of the map right now every time they try two two players go down and only leaves one by himself but now they got pressure on the a side it's gonna be a big battle chat single fist uh, finds one and it goes finds one but there is omni with the trade to clear off all those players on that a side they allow pressure to come off on that b side one segment is progressed on this B site, trying to get this second segment. They gotta find Omni. Omni finds the player on the hill, and these Manitoba Mallards are doing a great job of getting players off. But Chastik, he's on his A site, but he's standing up. He's off of there. Oh, and then Nate will kill his teammate too. So now they'll have eyes on this. But perfect. New York are waiting for this one. This is a nice play out of them. Unfortunately, only able to turn one. Chastik gave up his teammate on the second, as now the kills come through. Gonna have to fly out of the point. This is Ooh. a good shot out of Shiesty, but he's gonna need some help now, and there's no one else to flood it. 
They will be getting over to this B point. 30 seconds on the board, so panic will start to set in. I mean, once they're off of this for a second, we'll start hearing that ticking sound as it will become red time. And Jade and the guy's going to try and do their best to stop this. He's going to fly out. The trades are back and forth. That'll be one member left. Indigo's got to go massive. He's going to find one. He kind of needs one more, but he won't be able to. So now all these subpar players out of spawn have to do it right now. 22 seconds before this game is over. Yeah, nine to eight are the lives. So you can play the live game if you are from New York so far, but you gotta stop this time. You gotta try to add another minute to the clock. The time is red, but the battles are going all in the favor of the Minotaur. Mallard, six to six are the lives. Eight seconds is it. This is the last sprint they got towards this A Street. They gotta take out Jay. They gotta touch the point. Shiesty takes him out. He is on the point. It's all up to Ace. Ace gets taken out. Chase or Pinstripe. This okay. A site should be taken care of. Three to four, all the lives. So these lives are important. No response left for both teams oh. left. Chad Sickle has to, it's not going to see him to the next round. Omni just said, Serpent, we'll see you next round. Now it's all up to Shiesty oh. and Ace. Ace, Shiesty just says, Omni oh. and, and Jay back to his round. Now it's up to Jay and Meeks versus Shiesty. Who's going to win this 1v2? Shiesty has a little bit of time to play with. So he can bait the timeout, can bait oh. some of these players out. But I think he's seen Jay down low. He's going to go for the push. He knows he's there. He's going to hit with a stun. He knows he's going to spur. He's got to find him. Oh, he gets a big kill. 1v1, uh. but there goes the trade. Manitore Mallers wins his defense, wins the game 3-0. to zero, But New York South Park gave us a big, big, big round three. Yeah, and that's kind of what I was, you know, turning my attention to a little bit, right? As it is kind of tough on high rise when you go down that 2-0. This momentum train could just become too big for the subpar to handle. Yeah, and here we are in this skid row. New York subpar fighting for their map, uh, map win. Fighting for map win. Do not want to go home on a 3-1 fashion. So here we go. New York Manitoba Mallards are going to start off with that early time. Minx and Ace are getting the kills in the kill feed to hold down this hill. This hill is all green right now. They're trying to fight for those speed 2 spots. And there you go. You call it in Q and Manitoba Mallards have done exactly what you call the control of speed 2 spawns. Yeah, this is a, div a tough job now for the subpar. They not only have to hold this hill now for some good time, but they will be looking at that P2 break. And at the very least, they're going to be maybe at best around even a couple points up going into it. But maybe they can get lucky on this break, find the odd kill on a member. I mean, that number four member is out to this wood side. He's been spotted now, but Jastikos had a good gun all series long. He's going to need one of his best shots right here. He's going to have to find one. The wide peak not going to be there. Minx finds another one. Another kill in the garage, and that turn on will happen. That'll be four down in the feed. This is a tough hill to climb now. Goon, they're going to have to hit another gear. Else the series could be over before you know it. Yeah, man. My house heard knowledge, man. They're holding down this P2. You can see that New York step are trying to fly through tunnel. Chas Tickle does take out Jake. So that is a big kill. He's trying to push out before the reinforcement gets there. He finds another kill. Go. Now he's pushed up on this barrel seat. If it, on his barrel If his team can watch him, he's made it all the way in by the warehouse now. Now he just has to wait for his teammates to watch his back. They know he's in here. He's taking his time. Uh -oh. He sees that player in the mid, mid, middle junkyard, but he gets taken down. Now now his rotation has to be on. You can see player six already starting to go. Player two, he is not moving. Maybe something may be up with player two as he is stuck in no man's land. But this hill has started off, and there we go. Player two is gone. So we'll see what happens here. This map this may, may continue on. We'll see where we go. But New York so far, we do have control of the speed two. Oh, and the quick turnaround kill. That will be big for Chas to go to find that one, as it will mean they still have the time on. Mallards are pretty content with hanging around. I was wondering if maybe there were some lobby issues going on. As usually, you don't see that much. You're not planning for P2 a couple hills ahead of the time, usually. So, uh, unfortunately, the lobby close will occur there, and we're going to have to get back into this one. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, we unfortunately had a player drop out. Well, we all saw that. We all saw the player drop out. And the, and the square was lower than the 100-point mark, which is a great point to drop out so we will see what's going on with this player serving see what these teams want to do with the rest of this map so we will figure that out we'll go to a quick commercial break and we will see you guys after the break don't waste your time and life trying to figure out how to use damn bombs grab some fresh air and call the cod rec league for all your wall busting needs 
the Con Rec League. We've got thick skulls. Are you tired of pesky snakes in your backyard? You keep losing games because the opponent won't stop slithering all over the place. Well, I've got just the thing for you. Jump in John Snake Oil. This is guaranteed to take out any snake, big or small, male or female. Jumpin' John Snake Oil is here to help you with those damn dirty snakes. The process is simple. Simply purchase this small case of three bottles for the low price of $3,000 plus shipping. And within two to five business months, you'll get your snake oil. After that, simply light the cloth on fire and throw it at the closest snake you can find. Guaranteed to eradicate all snakes within a two inch radius. Warning, Jumping John Snake Oil is not recommended for children, teens, or the elderly. If any snake oil gets in your eyes, contact a medical health professional right away. Ask your duo if Jumping John Snake Oil is right for you. Ever heard of a smoke grenade based mail system? Well, Airblops is cornering the market. Enjoy one of our fine testimonials. Yeah, guys, just have the tank hanging up right there. Oh, yeah, I love Airblops. Just don't open one of the blinking ones like I did. <laughs> Go ahead and show them that clip. Boy, did I have egg on my face, I'll tell you what. Warehouse Manager Bob is a long-time loyal customer. As such, we're proud to present him with a free year of Airblops Prime. Alright, so I need a couple of missiles. Ooh, instant delivery. Our service is so good you'll die for it. And still keep coming back for more. Airblops is not held liable for injuries such as crushing, maiming, smushing, squishing, paper cuts, or combustion. Only accepted currency is the blood of your enemies. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. New York Subpar, Manitoba Mallards, uh, Skid Row, Hard Point. This is for the game. If Manitoba Mallard wins, they will win the series. So New York Subpar have to fight tooth and nail to try to win this. Last time we saw this map jump off, we saw Manitoba Mallards get control of P1, trying to get control of P2 spots, and that's exactly what they're trying to repeat here. Yeah, they need to do this all over again. It looks like the sub bar are just gonna try and make a concerned effort to break it this time, which I mean is one way of solving that issue. But they have to find this kill. Absolutely a must kill right now on this member, oh and Serpent's not gonna be able to do it. So now these kills are coming through. There's, well, I mean, it's back to 1v1 again, but no, there'll be some support from another Mallard player, and Chastical's taking this a little slow. So, I mean, 40 points, 44 big ones on that old, but. There is still a chance of the break here. It's a two-on-two -two kind of, but the flank will come in. There comes the shot from Indigo. He needs to go massive now. He's got to find his way in there. Maybe if he's even just able to be annoying, but it's going to be a big kill. He's got to trade this out, but he's going to be on a stock clock right now. He's finding some kills. It's a big moment. Oh. Not able to turn the second. The Renetti is simply not worth it as a weapon, unfortunately. So the Mallard is able to, going to be able to make a big chunk again, but a double nade kill. You know what I mean? The dig double nade kill is big. The time yeah. is neutral right now. Nobody in right now. But I didn't dig. They did. Oh. I mean, New York Step Park did what they wanted to do. I guess they did. Just at least if you're not going to get P2, and we're not going to get P2, we're not going to give it up either. And that's what they're doing right now. Keeping this time neutral. Keeping this time white. And that is before uh, a, a player gets on the hill and finally let New York Step Park 
see a little bit of that point department. I know they uh, zero was not sitting pretty, but now they got a couple points on the board. This next P3 is getting ready to jump off. Indico has made the flank, but he gets taken wow. down. P3 should be in the favor of Mantor Mounds, but it looks like they don't even want the heal. They're just trying to get control of the kills and the spawns, and there goes Mink with, two, with, with, with a big two-piece. Yeah, Omni's saying you guys can ruin our P2 push the second time around, but I'm a, I'm gonna get mine because he's been absolutely flying out there on these guys. Minx also having a good time. I mean, the kill's still in the feed for the Mallards, 80 to 20. They were able to get this P3 rotation as a difference in the games this time. So, really, just a tough scenario now. If you're the subpar, nothing's really worked. You're gonna rotate over to this barber shop early, but. The Manitoba will already have been at the 100 point mark, but this gets it all mixy, which Jay is going to make it like that. Trade's coming through this man into the back. Now, what kind of timing will he get? Not looks like not very, very good, but either way, they're able to contest that old. So an 80 point lead for now. I mean, that's oh. 10 seconds, nothing to scoff at at old, and they've got the kills over to new. So maybe if you're the sub part, you take this. You're in an all right spot right now. Yeah, I mean, those are four big kills that win their favor. They should have control of this hill as they're starting to get uh, hill, hill time. This is a hill that they need to try to hold, and it is one of the tougher ones to hold, as I mentioned before the game. But the first 20 seconds, they did a great job of holding it. Manitoba Miles are, are not even getting close. Shicey with, bit, with a big kill on Minx. Ace finally takes him down. So now these players are coming through this tunnel side. Tunnel push, trying to find a player on the side that they find them. Ooh, Omni turns on the player on the hill, but Serpent is in this back room just trying to play his life. He knows he's the last man up, so he's got to stay up long enough for the reinforcement to life. Can he do that? There goes Minx. I mean, there goes Ace. Serpent is still just holding the hill, waiting for his teammates to get there. And the hold is still not good enough because there is still a contest. Is the rotation going on? The rotation is in. And Manitoba and Manitoba Myers are on that rotation. All right. Well, the subbar have uh, brought this within close, but this is now again another one of those hills that at this level, Call of Duty can just be a little tough. It's gonna take you 15, 20 seconds probably just to get even a guy close, and then even then you need a lot of luck your way. But Shicey crafted a little room, but he'll go down. So 3v3. This player will spawn tunnel, which really isn't out. So. <laughs> Uh, Serpent gonna have to find one not going to be able so this is looking a lot like for sure 40 seconds Maybe 50 for the Mallards, which I mean not much you can do if you're the sub part You kind of you know gave that up by your barbershop antics So this will be how it goes, but you can get back on P1 and maybe get back into this But Skidro is about rolling with the punches and you've got to be able to punch back this next hill yeah, man, the, the Master of is doing a great job of holding all these hills. They knowing all the angles where New York Step are trying to run from, so they are just covering everything perfectly. That that hill is, is, is a hard hill to break, that construction, that jump out hill. I think the cruise muscle is like probably one of the only ways you can really break that hill if you do uh -huh. not get there first. And now this P1 is getting ready to jump off. New York Step Park are in control of this hill. Let's see how long they Yep, quick first kill for the Mallards. They're going to be double hitting this white side now, but they should know. Didn't really realize the second guy would be there, I guess, which is fair. So here comes the push in now. The Mallards are really just getting a lot of ground covered. They're already in and contesting. Trey's going to go through. That's a nice kill. He's going to wait up for that. Shice is going to roll out. He'll get one, but he's got another one pretty quick here, oh. and he will do it. That's a nice kill out of him. We already see the Mallards starting to think about just going P2. If those players were able to turn something, that could be what they need to get back into this one. But in the meantime, it's Shiesty having to go big on this P1, which he will not be able to do right away. They've got to get this time back. This is all just backbreaker time right now from the subpar, or sorry, from the Mallards. Not spotting this member in fire yet. Turpin is checking everyone but the right place, unfortunately. They will get that trade. So 10 seconds will be theirs. They'll be within 60. But again, another potential 60 is on the board for a perfect setup by the Mallard. Yeah, man, they got control of these P2 spots, but Indigo with the car explosion. Okay. Starts off with one chance to go. He gets the second kill. Player Minx on the hill trying to pick, but they said you better get go. down, play your life, and you got to get this player out of the garage. They got the control of this hill. There's another kill by, by Chaz Tickle. Jay did get into big two piece. The big kill. kill on the hill, oh. but no, Minx wins that battle. And every time there's a big kill that needs to be made, it seems like the Manitoba Mallards win that battle, Q. Yeah, I mean, and it's just like really their fundamentals, right? Like they put themselves in a good position. I mean, honestly, they've had to probably, it's gotten a little mixier than it maybe has to some of the time. But when you rely on those fundamentals and you play these setups, 
it will often be easier for you. And they are showing us that with a 100-point lead. Not looking back. 10 more seconds will be theirs. They will only need 40 throughout these next hills. And, I mean, it's going to be Mixie and Subpar going to have to really lock up here. Yeah, man, they got to play some good hard point, but it's not looking good. Let's start off with two dead in the favor of the Matador Mars. It's going to be up to Serpent, up to Indigo now to try to hold the line. The reinforcements are here for the Matador Mars. The Shash Tickle does get a big two as Indigo follows up with one. The spawn out for Matador Mars in this junkyard side. So if they make the re, I think they're making the re. So Shash Tickle is already having his gun pointed towards the back. He sees one player. Can he win this battle in the back we will look at it in the kill feed he does win that battle so as of now the new york so far half held the hill oh. and shaz tickle is just going big for his squad good. this is good for them shaz is going to re-peak at the perfect time too but hummus is going to find him that will be again some backbreaker time that's going to bring them to just over that 230 mark so that's going to be dagger time. Oh, they're going to get some contestant, which is nice because they do have that roto over to the next hill. But mind you, it is the Mallards all in the back. If they're able to do this effectively, these trades, this could be bad time for the subpar. They find the first one. They're double challenging onto the next. All the kills are in the Mallards' favor. I thought surely there would have been a trade back by a subpar member, but unfortunately there isn't. Now all these kills are coming out. You have to flood if you're subpar. This is looking grim there, good. Yeah, they all got to come down tunnel, and new Mantor and Mallards are just pointing all their irons down this tunnel area because they know that's where they're coming from. Kill feet lighting up green for the Mantor and Mallards. Only eight seconds away to win this game, and there is no Mantor no New York so far in range to try to get, to get these players off the hill. Manitoba Mallards win this game. 250 to 131 in dominant fashion. And you see, like I said before this match, they take that momentum and they roll with it and you just could not stop this train.